Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 24 of FC Destiny with Barrowtown here in FC24. We're currently in the middle of September of our fourth season. We have 20 points and 9 matches played so far, sitting in second place, looking good right now. And we're going to play 4 matches this episode. We're going to sim the rest of September and then play against Charlton, sim the rest of October and then play Cardiff at the end of the month on Halloween, and then we're going to sim to the middle of November and play Wrexham AFC at home and then we're going to sim a couple more matches and finish on December 5th playing away against Wigan. But first, your player of the episode from episode 23, Doko Shabalala. Scored two goals, got a very late winner for us and a banger in the other match that we played. Really good episode for our South African left winger who we switched from right wing back. He's starting to come into his own finally. We hadn't scored with him in this career mode series until last episode, but you guys voted for him player of the episode. He's going to get plus one to his finishing, plus two to his composure, and he's going to get plus Plus one to his potential, give a little potential back after he lost some after last season through dynamic potential for some reason. So now let's read some of your comments from last episode. And already we're back on the topic of Odell Tingling's hair, I swear to God. Basically what he's saying here is, if we don't get top four this year, we're going back to the Afro. If not, we'll keep what we have. So I say, deal is on. This is going to be his hairdo if we get promoted, but if we don't get promoted this season... Back to the afro we go. Sign some Mexican players, bro. I swear we're really good when there's no parties going on with alcohol. <laughs> send a scout to Mexico. Will do. I will definitely send a scout to Mexico, but make sure that we leave the tequila back in Barrow. Like father, like son. What a goal in the celebration, too. I hope his father is proud of Toko doing that in his honor. And yeah, if you missed it last episode, Toko Shabalala scored a banger. Did the Shabalala iconic celebration from the South African World Cup. And, uh, I don't know, are, are we saying that Thoko Shabalala is the son of Safiwe Shabalala, who scored that iconic goal and introduced the world to that wonderful celebration? Also, have you added any training plans yet? Because maybe it would help with your fitness problems. And boy, do we have fitness problems. And honestly, we have not done any training plan adjustments. Honestly, I haven't really looked into it that much this year, and it hadn't seemed to be affecting my team too much, but... Now that I'm looking into it, it can really help us. That would save us a lot of energy. I think that might make a big difference here. So let me go through them. All right, so I've gone through the entire roster here and everybody's gonna be on energy focused. So we're not gonna go all out energy focused, just energy focused for now and see how that affects us. I think it might make a bit of a difference. And the last thing before we get into our four matches that we're gonna play, Ovi Ajaria is switching his nationality to Nigeria here. He's eligible to represent England or Nigeria internationally since his both of his parents are Nigerian. But with the rebirth of his career here at Barrowtown and how well he's playing, he wanted to properly represent his parents and support his allegiance to the Nigerian national team. And who knows, hopefully he gets a call up to the Super Eagles one day. So now let's go in and sim the last three matches of September here and then get into October and play Charlton Athletic on the road. And in the sim against MK Dons, Gindo Fuchs scores as does Nikolai and Cosmo and we win 3-1 on the road. And then against Port Vale in the league, Quack Gun gets a spot start and scores and the Firebirds win 1-0 here at home. And then our next match Matches in the Carabao Cup against Newcastle United. Nicholas Jackson scores and that's it. 1-0, we lose at home. A valiant effort for the Firebirds. But now it's time for us to play a match on the road against Charlton Athletic in the league. You see the starting 11 there. Diogo Melo's gonna get a rare start at left wing. Francis Paul's gonna start at left back at this one. And it's gonna be a start for John Leofeco at left center back. Breakout scenario is gonna be for Francis Paul. If he can provide a crossed assist in this match, he's gonna get plus two to his crossing. Let's kick things off this episode. Come on, lads. Good passing here. Tudor with his pace. Looking in the box, it's Rahman. Back to Ajaria. Oh, I probably could have passed it again. Tudor. Tackling. Fran Tudor. Taking it forward now. How is he keeping up with him? Good pressure here. Fran Tudor's... Chasing the ball around, I love it. Come on. Yes, Francis. And Tudor's all the way on the other side of the pitch. Fran Tudor putting in a challenge, and there's his weekly yellow card, it seems. Mello has it here. 
Nisbet has it. Looking over the top for Zivergadins. Can he get on this? It's a good ball. Nikolai pressing well. Oh my god, he gets the shot off and the save made by the keeper. Good pass here, Enjai. Barrowtown looking to counter, and Azizi Rahman has space to break and pace to burn. Rahman. Ajaria. It's Evergadens. Great counterattack. 1 0. The Firebirds are looking pretty in pink. Azizi Rahman with the pace on the counterattack. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that mask. Look at him go. Come on. Odo Tingling getting in the way. Masamba Enjai. Forcing a corner here. Good save. Good chance here. Charlton are in. Hernandez levels this one up. Francis Paul not dealing with Jaya Semi too well there. Ball comes in the box, and that's a nice finish from that angle. Oh no, 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 not like that. What just happened, EA? Come on, man. Ah! Tried to clear it out with Masamba. He hits it off of Odell. Ah. Oh. Come on. And it's going to be 2-1 at halftime just like that. Got to be kidding me, man. Good passing here, Nisbet. On to Francis Paul. Francis Paul has space to cross it. It's Rahman. Fuchs with a great touch here. Gino Fuchs. How do you not finish that, man? And we've been good off of the counterattacks. Nikolai's going to win that header, but Charlton keep it. Might end up another chance here. Saved by Anjai. Good through ball here. Chance for Charlton Frazier. What a finish. Oy, oy, oy. Not our best defensive match this one. And we're going to bring on JoJo Betts for Francis Paul and Cosmo Wicks for Diogo. Come on. Nice tackle here, Gene Doe Fuchs. Come on, Barrow Town. Tingling, tackling. Nicely done here. Betts on to Cosmo Wicks. On to Nisbet. Josh Nisbet. Zivergadins has it here. He's going to rip it. Saved. Good tackle, Fran Tudor. Not much time to do anything here. Zivergadins has it here. Looks over the top for Fran Tudor. I don't hate the idea. And he's going to have it in the box here. Fran Tudor, what a run. What a goal. Consolation it might be, but that was outstanding from our Croatian. Look at the cut here. The pace is so good from number 20. Fran Turbo, Tudor. Come on, let us get one more chance, EA. Fuchs wins it. Ajaria has it. Keep it going. Oh, how does that pass not work? And that's going to do it. 3-2 Charlton here. Disappointing loss. One of only two losses in the league this season, but really amazing goal from Fran Tudor at the end there. And the stats don't lie. We created the better chances. More expected goals for Barrow Town, but just didn't go our way today. Man of the match, Nikolai Zivergadin set up the last goal and scored the first one. He was at his brilliant best today, but it just wasn't enough for Awushi Adu's men. And before we sim a little, we've got some youth scouting reports to read. First from Trinidad. Looking through these names here, I haven't seen one. It's not looking good, and unfortunately, nobody from Trinidad. And now looking at Bolivia here, some decent names, some decent faces, but I haven't seen anyone yet. What a low overall there from Ruben Santos. Raul Hernandez looks like a really good goalkeeper, but honestly, we've got so many. We have so many goalkeepers in our academy and in our squad, so we're not going to take him. And lastly, we're going to look at Nigeria here. And usually I get a really good player from scouting Nigeria. Oh my god, but three months of scouting Nigeria and no one. But at least Oviajaria represents Nigeria on our team now. And our next three months of scouting are going to be in Zimbabwe, the Cayman Islands, and Canada. Oh, Canada. See what we get there on January the 4th. So now we're going to do a little bit of simming. We're going to simulate an Orient Derby away in the BSM Trophy against Wickham Wanderers and then Shrewsbury. And then we're going to end this month playing against Cardo. So let's do that. And in our next match in the league against Leighton Orient, we draw here 2-2 on the road. Zivergadins and Nisbet were the goal scorers for us. And then in our next match in the league, another 2-2 draw, this time against Derby County. Nikolai stays hot though in the goal scoring department. Two more for him. But all of a sudden, our defense is letting in a little bit more goals. And a nice bounce back here in the BSM trophy for our rotation players. Two for Shabalala. He stays hot this season and Josh Nisbet 
gets a goal for himself here. And after three straight games that we didn't win in the league, finally a win here at Shrewsbury, 1-0, and we keep the clean sheet here. Nico scores again. And you see, after this run of form, we're still only in third place. Really good spot for the Firebirds to be in right now after 15 matches. And a win here actually would draw us level with Cardiff City on points as we are playing them at home. Big match, third versus first here. Let's get right into it. And we're playing host to the league leaders here at the Furnace. Sending out what I think is our best 11 at this point. Breakout scenario is going to be for our American left back, Jojo Betts. If he can complete 90% of his passes in this match, he's going to get plus four to his vision. Really, really good test at this point in the season to see if we really have what it takes to challenge for that League One title on Halloween here. Come on, lads. This is a good place for us to press here. If we could just win it back, and Cosmo Wicks is going to win it. Ajaria on the volley rockets it off the crossbar. Good header here, Odell tingling out of danger. Good interception, Odell. Fabio winning it here. Fabio still charging forward. I don't hate it. Zivergadens. Nisbet! Oh my god, he misses and ZZ can't follow up. Great ball here, Fran Tudor. And Rahman looks for the overlap. It's Zivergadens. Nikolai! Oh my god, he rockets it way too far off. Good passing here. Wicks on to Zivergadens. Zivergadens on to Jojo Betts. Jojo Betts cutting it back. Ajaria still with it here. Good passing. Ovi Ajaria crossing it. Ah, oh, we just can't decide right now what to do with it. And there is the halftime whistle. No score here. It's been a good defensive battle. We've had the ball for quite a bit of it, but nothing going in yet. Fabio doing his absolute best here. Oh, what a ball here, Gene Doe Fuchs. And ZZ Rahman's going to look over the top for Fran Tudor. I like it. Tudor in towards Zivergadens. Tingling sliding in hard. I love that. Fabio's high up the pitch. Fabio's going to win it here. And Cosmo Wicks is going to look over the top. I thought Z Zivergadens was going to make a better run here. Ovia Jari is going to pick it up in a dangerous spot here. What a ball to Aziz Rahman. He's going to slice at it and miss, but... God, we are just looking great and not finishing it off right now. Azizi Rahman has it here. Fran Tudor in a dangerous spot. Tudor cutting. Nisbet. Tudor. What a cross here! Cosmo Wicks, how did you miss that? Oh. Nisbet pressuring here. He's going to win this one back. And it's getting late and there's still no score in this match. Atete has it here. Giorodia blocks. Look at Fabio defend there. Brilliant. Cosmo breaks forward. Oh, he tried to work the one-two with Nikolai, but they read it. What a read here by Fabio. Intercepting and doing it so well. Come on. Out towards Betts. Jojo Betts has it here. In towards Ajaria. Ajaria, what a header out to ZZ Rahman. Fran Tudor gets it in a dangerous spot here. Ijaria can't get the header off. Tudor wins it. Nisbet. Gindo Fuchs is going to hit it. Cosmo Wicks lets it run for a corner. And it's going to be Doko Shabalala coming on late here for Ovi Ijaria. See if that can make a difference. ZZ Rahman has it. Going forward. Fran Tudor's making a great run. Fran Tudor looking for Zivergadins. What a shot in that one save. And it's going to be no score here at home. Barrow Town draw Cardiff City. Nil, nil. All the chances for the Firebirds and none of them fell. God, what a match. Cardiff City only had one shot. We had 2.4 expected goals and none of them worked out for us. Man of the match performance from Fabio Chiarodia. He was absolutely outstanding in this one. Lots of tackles and lots of great passes from him. Jojo bets with 15 passes in this match. 93% accuracy, so he's going to get plus 4 to his vision as we said we'd give him if he did such a thing. I thought Fran Tudor was outstanding again. Azizi Rahman was very good creating. Zivergadens was 
almost very good, very close to scoring in this one. Just not our day on the pitch again. Still, a draw is a very good result against the league leaders right now. So now we're going to sim two more matches against Oxford and Cheltenham and then face off against Robin Ryan's Wrexham at home on the 21st of November. And then a nice bounce back in the league. Yet another clean sheet for Barrowtown. Our defense is back in form. 2-0 victory. Zizi Rahman with two goals here for the Firebirds. But then in our next match against Cheltenham Town on the road, we lose 1-0 here. Cosmo Wicks picks up two yellows, so a red card here for Cosmo. He's going to miss our next one, which is going to be the match against Wrexham. And looking at the table, that loss actually isn't detrimental at all. We're still in second, still just three points behind Cardiff City, who's sitting first. It's been a good goal-scoring season for the Firebirds. 31 is joint top scorers in the league right now with Charlton. And here is your starting 11 for our home match against Wrexham. Cosmo is obviously out with a red card, so Shabalala starts on the wing. Victor Lundberg's gonna get a start in the midfield in this one. Gonna mix it up, see how that goes. Francis Paul is out at left back. And Darginis is out at right back. Fran Tudor is out on international duty with Croatia. Your breakout scenario is gonna be for Victor Lundberg, the Swede, getting his start here. If he can intercept two or more passes, he's gonna get plus two to his interception rating. Let's get into this one. Come on, lads. Ovi Ajaria has it here, dribbling around, patiently, Lundberg, Nisbet, still has it, it's Sivergadens, 1-0 Barrow Town! Ball breaks kindly here for Josh Nisbet, he leaves it off for number 99, Agent 99, another goal for the big man. Paul Mullen getting the better of Francis Paul here trying to use his body against him, and Francis Paul stands tall. Yes, sir. Nice ball here from Francis. Ajaria, on to Nisbet, on to Zizi Rahman. Looking out wide here. Good passing. Francis Paul. Zivergadens. Cutting. It's Nisbet. Back to Zivergadens. Oh, it should have been 2-0. God, I feel like that mask has given him some kind of superpower this season. Fabio Chiarodi high up the pitch. Zivergadins. Draw oh, the step over. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't good enough. Nisbet on to Guinness. Guinness on to Azizi Rahman. Rahman looking for Zivergadins. The timing is good. He's going to rocket it again. Goodness. Odell Tingling reading it very, very well once again. And that is going to be it for the first half. 1-0 to the good guys. It's going to be a free kick in a dangerous spot here for Wrexham. Ball's crossed in. Ajaria heads it out. Well done, Ovi. And then, oh, really good interception here by Lundberg. Shabalala looking for Zivergadins. Great touches here. Nikolai still going. Crossing it in towards Josh Nisbet. Five foot two, and he almost got himself a headed goal. Good ball here, in towards the near post, Enjai makes the save, Guinness heads it out of danger, and for now, we're away. Shabalala's gonna get space here, don't go Shabalala, what a finish. Good dribbling from Josh Nisbet, leaves it off for number 19, who's been hot this season, and he scores again. And it's gonna be Quack Gun, Brady Gibbons, and Rory McDonald coming on here late in this match. Nico's gonna go to the attacking mid spot, see how he does there. And that is a second interception for Victor Lundberg here. He's gonna get that upgrade. And there is the final whistle here at the Furnace. A very easy 2-0 win for Barrowtown here. Golds from Nico and our boy Thoko Shabalala. What a match here for the Firebirds. Josh Nisbet, man of the match. He was everywhere as he always has been. Beautiful performance from our captain today. And just another shout out to Odell Tingling. New hair has been up and down I feel like so far, but this was definitely an up. Great match for him. And now we got a little bit more simming to do before we finished off this episode. We've got Reading, then we've got Morecambe in the FA Cup, which we're gonna sim, and then we've got Stockport before we finish it off against Wigan here on the road in this episode. Then in our next match in the league, a draw. 1-1 on the road against 
against Reading. Quack Gun gets another spot start in the league and scores again in this one. And then in the FA Cup, we advance. Good game for the rotation players yet again. Brady Gibbons with his first goal back from Barrow Town and Moyo Mushi with the winner. And then in our next match in the league, home against Stockport, pure domination, a 3-1 win. Cosmo with two, Azizi Rahman gets one. And in the standings, we still sit in second. 12 wins, six draws, three losses. Just three points behind Cardiff City. And also just three points behind Cardiff are Bolton, Sheffield, and Charlton. First through fifth are separated by just three points. That is absurd. And I love it. But let's finish off this episode with one more match away against Wigan in the league. We're going to be playing in the snow and in pink. Diogo Melo starts. Shabalala starts with Cosmo Wicks coming off the bench for this one. It's going to be Thoko Shabalala's breakout scenario. If he can create three or more chances in in the box, he's going to get plus two to his attacking positionings. Let's finish off this episode, see if we can get a win here in style in the snow. Come on, lads. Tingling, tackling, great start. Let's go. Oh, good cut, Shabalala. Really good. More good cutting. Mello has it here. On to Nisbet. Rahman, Nisbet. Good passing. Nikolai can finish. Excellent start for Barrow Town. 1 0 Firebirds. Good interception, JoJo Betts. Good pressure from Barrow Town, and Wigan win it back, but Barrow Town are not letting up. Oh. Josh Nisbet takes it pretty far forward. Good touch here from Zivergadins. Shabalala. Zivergadins again! Tickle saves! Nice header here, Tingling. Betts on to Mello, on to Zivergadins. Tons of space in a way. Zivergadins on to Shabalala. Thoko Shabalala saved by Tickle. Fabio's gonna tee one up from distance. Fabio! Giorodia! Oh my goodness! From way downtown! Bang! Man, I was just shooting it for the fun of it. I had no idea he'd actually crush it into that top corner. Pinpoint accuracy from the Italian. Oh my goodness. Gindo Fuchs, great defending in the box here. Way to not foul. And that is the halftime whistle here. 2-0 to the boys in pink. Good read, Fabio. Great easy interception there. And a nice ball here from Tingling. Wigan might have a chance here. In on goal, Enjai, it's right at him, and he uses his big meaty claws to catch that one. Good defending Jojo Betts, and he's going to immediately counter at the defense. Jojo Betts going as far as he can. Jojo Betts, oh, he has Zivergadins in the middle, and it almost got to him. Cruz has it here. Fabio defending. Fabio doing very well, getting a foot in the way. More good defending from Barrow Town, denying all chances. And there is the final whistle here in Wigan. Barrow Town with an excellent victory here today. Really, just ridiculous skull from Fabio, one you're never really going to see again from a center back. Kind of like Vincent Company against Leicester that broke my Liverpool heart years ago, but. Just a ridiculous effort from him, and an excellent defensive effort overall from him as well. Really good episode for the Italian man. Nikolai getting the man of the match here. He was everywhere, pressing and shooting and passing and dribbling. He did it all today for the Firebirds. He's been having a great season all around. Thoko Shabalala was excellent today as well. I'll have to review the tape and see if he got his upgrade, but really well done from the South African, even though he didn't provide a goal or an assist. Diogo Melo did provide an assist and was great himself. And how about that man, Fabio. What a shot. That was one of the best goals we're going to score in this career mode. Maybe the best goal I'm ever going to score in any career mode with a defender. That was just ridiculousness. I guess the only question is, was it further than Ovi Ajaria's season 3 goal of the season? I don't even know. You'll have to let me know. That's going to do it here for episode 24 of FC Destiny with Barrow Town. Nikola Zivergadins and the Firebirds are heating up. Awushi Adu's got himself a hell of a team all around right now. And the title race is as tight as it gets. 
check out how that goes next episode. We're going to get through December and January, maybe a little bit of February next episode. But until that next episode, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and comment some fun things as always. This has been Therios. You'll never walk alone.